A group of indigenous leaders and representatives are overseas telling Shell Oil how the company is impacting their communities. The group traveled to The Hague, where Shell is hosting its annual general meeting. Ariel Deranger, representing the Athabasca Chippewyan, had a chance to address Shell executives and present them with a report. She joins us via Skype. Thank you for joining us, Ariel. Yeah, no problem. Now, what did you say to the Shell executives in front of their shareholders? Well, you know, what I told them was that uh, the Athabasca Chippewan First Nation has been unsatisfied with the way that Shell has been dealing with our community and has failed to meet past agreements that they've made with our community to help mitigate the tar sands projects that are currently in existence and that we have, in fact, sued them. Um, and in further to that, we also I also stated that we are planning to challenge all future open pit mine tar sands projects that Shell is proposing in our traditional territory and it came as quite a shock to I think a lot of the shareholders and even the the board and executives that sat in front of the people at the AGM. Okay well did you get a response from either group the shareholders or the executive? Well the executives uh, basically said they looked at me and they said we are aware that your community is in fact suing Shell but I must say that this First Nation is an anomaly when it comes to the Alberta First Nations and that we have quite good relations with many other communities and that the shareholders should not worry is what the executives then uh, relayed back to the uh, to the shareholders. And, and you didn't hear the shareholders themselves nobody came up to you after the meeting and said wow well, I, I didn't know that. Oh yes, they did. Um, I was approached by probably about four different uh, shareholders who said that, you know, they're very concerned about what's happening in the Alberta tar sands and that the destruction that is happening in what is one of Canada's pristine ecosystems. They don't understand why it's happening, and they felt for the community, and they were very shocked to learn that we are in fact suing them. Okay. Well, do you feel you accomplished anything with your presentation? I think so. You know, the, the whole thing is that Shell has really sort of shrugged off the fact that our community is in fact suing them um, and the fact that we are challenging their projects and, and really has sort of made it seem as though we are sort of, you know, just an anomaly amongst the First Nations. But the fact of the matter is, is we have constitution constitutionally protected treaty rights in this country um, and these corporations, no matter where they come from, have to adhere to those rights, that we have the right to say no and we don't want these projects if they are not going to respect our rights. And their current projects aren't respecting our rights and the fact that they haven't met those agreements has led to degradation of our traditional territory and has not allowed us to participate in the projects in the way that we want to. Now given that, why would we want to uh, allow new projects? Mm -hmm. And I think we really sort of elevated that message to Shell and perhaps maybe they will take us a little more seriously now. Okay, so what's next for your community in this fight? I think we're further going to just uh, continue to to see Shell at the hearings for the joint review panel hearings for their new proposed pod projects with the expansion of the Jack Pine Mine project and their proposed uh, Pier River Mine and we are going to challenge those projects. Those project applications currently don't address how they will a actually impact our traditional and treaty rights and until such time that Shell can actually tell us what they're going to do to our rights and how they're going to impact them and work with with our community to identify that, these projects will continue to be challenged and it's not just Shell. I guarantee you that other projects will see the same kind of uh, recourse coming from our community. So you know, we really want to see our rights and our land and our people protected for now and into the future. Alright, thank you for speaking to us this evening, Ariel. Thank you very much.